So when we do a hair transplant procedure, what is really important is the quality of the holding solution that you use. So what is a holding solution? When the grafts come out of the body, it's live cells, live tissue. That has to be preserved in order to maintain the cellular activity and the vitality of the hair follicles before they're re-implanted into your scalp and regain the blood supply that they need to survive. So how does that happen and what solutions do we use? Well, what a lot of practices use is what's called normal saline, which is salt water. And that's what this is right here. This is a bottle of 0.9% sodium chloride. And this is what a lot of practices use for their holding solution. Now this is not meant to be chilled and it's really not meant to be a solution for that. It doesn't keep the cells in their best state. It doesn't really decrease the metabolic activity. It doesn't provide nourishment to the cells while they're outside of your body and not getting a blood supply either. But a lot of practices do use this and in my opinion, this is not the best solution to use. What we exclusively use in my practice is what's called hypothermosol, and we add ATP to that. So this is hypothermosol. It is a solution that is produced and made to be chilled, and by chilling the solution, it reduces the metabolic activity of the cell, so there's less of what's called metabolic acidosis, and potential cell death and cell, you know, the cells being hurt. So you maintain the vitality of the cells, the hair follicle, and better growth and better cells and follicles when you transplant the hair. So the hypothermosol in studies has been shown to be superior and a better solution when the grafts are outside of the body. Now we also add what's called ATP. ATP is an energy substrate and it's produced by your body naturally and that gives your body energy what's called ATP now we add it to the hypothermosol so there's more energy less metabolic acidosis better vitality of your cells and hair follicles so this in studies the hypothermosol with ATP has clearly been shown to be better than normal saline when the grafts are outside of the body keeps the the, the follicles healthier and it keeps them in a better state until they get reimplanted into your scalp where they regain their blood supply. Also, what's important is how the grafts are being chilled. So we use special coolers that keep it at a steady chill temperature. There's no fluctuations in temperature. Now, if you used an ice pack or a cooler, that doesn't stay the same temperature. That's gonna warm up. It's gonna not be the same chill. And if you don't replace it frequently, that can be an issue. So we use a special cooler that keeps it at the set temperature and that makes a big difference in terms of what we're trying to achieve, which is a chill temperature, lowering the metabolic rate, an optimal solution. So we're doing everything possible to optimize the growth of the grafts. Another thing is that when we perform an FUE procedure, usually I pre-make my recipient sites. What does that mean is that I make most of the recipient sites, the little holes where the grafts are going to go into before I do the extraction. That way when the grafts are extracted and they're out of the body, they could be reimplanted sooner. So there's less time out of the body. They go back in sooner and that leads to healthier grafts and most likely a better growth and a better outcome as well.